Hello there everybody, Mbix here and with another news video, the LEGO Star Wars 20th Anniversary sets have been revealed. You may be surprised that I already covered these, but that was a short video and this is going to be more of my in-depth thoughts. So just tell me in the comments down below whether you like the short one or the long one and then, you know, I'll make videos accordingly. But anyway, uh, I'm going to spend around three minutes on each set, maybe a bit more. And uh, let's start with the Slave 1. 100 and 20 US dollars. Uh, the retro fig or the kind of old fig is Princess Leia from the Millennium Falcon from the 2000s. And she has the 20th anniversary printing on the back, which by the way, I love because uh, it gives the old one some exclusivity. So the uh, people who paid so much to collect the old one don't feel bad that anyone can get it. Boba is good. Uh, I don't know the name of the other bounty hunter next to him, though he comes in battle pack back in 2017, so eh, it's an okay inclusion. I wish the Han Solo and Carbonite piece was new. Um, we got that Han Solo, okay. But Zuxus, that is great. Zuxus is so awesome, and I'm happy to get him in Lego. But the Slave 1, did we need a Slave 1? We just got one last year in Cloud City, the Master Builder set, and that was in mid-scale, just enough to accompany a figure. And I love the mid-scale. I'm actually working on a mid-scale ship right now, which I'll try to do a video on later. But, yeah, $120. We have the mid-scale. Um, the UCS is $200, which I'll admit is a lot more, but you can sometimes find it for $80. So it's only um, it's a $60 difference. So, yeah, still a lot, but 60 bucks. It just seems like it's so similar in scale and... This one, I'll say this, it does look nice, but, you know, just, I, uh, I like it, okay? But it just doesn't feel like we needed a 120 US dollar slave one. We got the UCS one, um, this comes um, to a better price range, I will say that for those of you who do want to get it, but this is 20th anniversary Star Wars, and I felt like we needed a Millennium Falcon. A one hundred and twenty dollar Millennium Falcon. That would have been that would have been great. We haven't had one since the Force Awakens back in twenty fifteen. That was four years ago. Now maybe Lego is planning one for like uh, the uh, the Star Wars Episode Nine sets, which have not been revealed, or um, so we don't know anything about them. But eh, I don't know. I just felt like we could have used the Millennium Falcon. That that would have been way better than this, in my opinion. But the set does look good. Um, it's good price range. Well. It's way too expensive, I'll say that, but it's good for people who don't want to get the UCS, but I just don't think we needed it. I definitely would have uh, preferred a Millennium Falcon, but those are just um, some of my thoughts on this one, and yeah, again, $120 is just a lot, but uh, we can now move on to the next set, which is going to be the Snow Speeder. We got um, hot sets in 2016, which unfortunately I did miss out on. And it's been three years. It's perfectly fine if LEGO is deciding to release more hot sets. 2017, we got um, the UCS attack Assault on Hoth. People hate that set. And eh, it's, it would be cool to get. It's just uh, not for me. But um, that was in 2017. It was really expensive. So it's nice to get a cheaper hot set. But was this the best choice? Like, it's a slow speeder. Very good. But this is 30 to $40. Yeah, $40. Wow. That is the rumored price. Um, 30 I'd say, would be uh, good. Not good. Okay, average. 40 would just be overpriced trash. Um... And they made this so boring. Like, we've gotten, like, I said in 2016 and 2017, we got the speeders. Uh, the 2017 Assault on Hoth was still available back in 2018, and I believe, if I'm not mistaken, still is. We got the Sand Speeder, I believe, last year, that was. The Sand Speeder, but yeah, you know, I like that we're getting hot sets, but this one just looks boring. They took away the orange color. Now it's gray and white. That's real boring. Um, the turret build looks bad with that stud shooter. I like when they do integrate those, but it just looks kind of bad. Uh, figures, they use the old helmets, that, not the new ones from the kind of um, 2018 uh, Summer X-Wing. That is strange to me. Well, a lot of people hated that. Is that is that why LEGO did it? 
A lot of people uh, want the old guns, but LEGO didn't change that, but LEGO changed the helmets. Mm, that was kind of weird. Uh, anyway, the 20th anniversary figure for this set is Lando Calrissian. That is great, in my opinion. I love getting a Lando, and so many other people love him as well. Uh, here's the thing. The turret is on a triangle plate. Eh, uh, LEGO always does that. For side builds, they do triangle plates. I like regular plates better. It's just... You also have more use of them if you take the set apart for pieces, but that's more of a nitpick. And it's very nice that Lando does have the old styled gun. Yeah, it looks bad, but it 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 it, it, it gets points for nostalgia, honestly. And um, here's another thing, just like Assault on Hoth, they pulled in Assault on Hoth. Only good guys. Yes, you only have two pilots and one Hoth soldier. I say give us one pilot one out soldier, and one snow um, trooper. Because where's the play value to this set? <laughs> Even if you wanted to bring in the 20th anniversary uh, fig, it's Lando, who's more or less a good guy, you know? So, yeah, um, just another question there on play value. So, yeah, two for two, and I'm not too happy, but let's make that three for three maybe now, because um, this is Anakin's pod racer. Uh, like many others, I'm not too big a fan of the prequel trilogy you know i felt like um with the prequel trilogy each movie got better than the last i think the first was the worst <laughs> yeah first was the worst and then the second was a bit better but still you know i i love the whole boba fett storyline and all that uh but uh, yeah the whole anakin part uh, i didn't like and then the third one i think was the best out of the three but here's the thing um regardless of whether or not i like it um pod racing itself i thought was it's a cool concept, I think, but not to take up that much of the movie. I think it should have uh, rather been in, like, the Clone Wars, but again, sidetracking. Um, we get young Anakin. I don't like young Anakin. He comes in a $10 set, so this is not the only uh, available way right now to get him. We get uh, the Padme figure using um, the teen legs, as I call them, and uh, that... Probably doesn't fit. I think she's in her, like, 20s in The Phantom Menace. Maybe just becoming an adult. The 20th anniversary figure is good. It's Luke Skywalker. But the pod itself. Uh, I made a Why Does Lego Use Colorful Colors video. Go check that out. It's a Lego discussion. But the the place where uh, Anakin supposedly uh, sits at the way back, that looks very nice, in my opinion. The ropes look nice. The Indian sections look so ugly to me. Like, it kind of looks accurate, but it, it it looks horrible to me. And then, I love the uh, see-through uh, transparent Technic beams, if you see them, attaching the two kind of engines to the uh, pod. Though, as I say in my uh, discussion, they completely butcher it by adding in tan pins. Like, you can see the pins, and... Because those are transparent, the pins are just so much, so much more visible than I'd like them to be. And then uh, at the base, we use subgrade, which isn't as annoying, but still the transparent uh, pins and the kind of, um, uh, sorry, not the transparent pins, the tan pins and the gray um, Technic pieces, they, they just don't work for me. They ruin the whole look. The um, engines or kind of engines themselves look very bad. Uh, honestly, the seat is the main good part. Um, they should be 40 or 30. 40, again, is overpriced. 30, uh, still kind of overpriced. I'd say this would be good at 25, yeah. Um, I'll wait for it to go on sale for like 22 bucks, I think, and then maybe, yeah, I'll get it. Maybe. I just love the 20th anniversary figs in general, but we'll have to wait and see on that. So yeah, that's three for three that I don't like, and I think that I'll get this one and the snow speeder if they drop on sale, but I can't make any promises on even getting Slave 1, whether or not it drops on sale. But the last two, the smaller sets, $30, and I'll talk about the price uh, for the other one later. I like, yeah, $30 set. <coughs> I kind of like, uh, this seems more like a $20 set. Yeah, I can see the... Um, the little walker right there for the clone. It's set on Kashyyyk. Anyway, I can see him, um, I can see that build alone going for 15 bucks. And then the spider and the trench build, you know, those are worth five bucks. And then throw together $20 set, maybe $25. But 30, eh, there's inflation now. It's it's okay. It's good. I, I'll say that. I, I, I'd i say 
it's not the best price though it's not bad either so again just okay and average i like getting that kind of kashik uh trooper the droid should be a kashik droid although they are not really canon too much um we got them in like this uh year set i forgot it the name but we got two droids there that should be there the homing spider build uh, i don't like them in general that much but that looks good the kind of trench wall for the kashik uh sorry <laughs> for the kashik for the wookie uh probably not a chewbacca it's not the newer color and it's carrying one of those guns but why is it black kashik from my memory is more like the Ewok village more into nature using trees and stuff as barricades. I don't know why it's black, but it is a very nice build. I, I, I just don't know about the color scheme. 20th anniversary fig here is Darth Vader, old helmet and all. And um, though I do have two of those, the torso would be nice to get. And by the way, all the stands connect. To, um, you can see the little 2x2 two two sticking out at the end. That's so that they can all um, connect. But yeah, I'm just... Um, I like this set, and honestly, it ain't, it's not that too overpriced. I think it's five bucks overpriced, let's say, and that's not that big a deal, honestly. And I think, like, just seeing it right now, I think it's five bucks overpriced. But I think once I buy it, build it, and review it, I think that um, I'll really see the uh, thirty dollar value within the set. Though right now it seems a bit overpriced. So yeah, there. So far, there are three sets that. I don't like, and then there's this set that I kind of like and kind of not, you know. Uh, so, yeah, I was really excited for the 20th anniversary sets, but I don't know. Like, even the wave at the beginning of the year of 2019, like with the Elite Praetorian Guard Battle Pack, all those battle packs, I think that wave is even better than this 20th uh, anniversary wave, surprisingly. Though uh, the last set, uh, beyond a doubt, that we're going to be seeing soon is definitely my favorite, but still, again... I was more excited for the uh, first wave of the Seer sets than I am for the 20th anniversary sets. But here is um, my favorite set from the wave, and yep, it's a battle pack. $30 star sets are probably my favorite, but they're like very close to battle packs. This is a recreation of an old one, um, and it just looks so much newer with the kind of thin pieces, which you can see the Stormtrooper back up its reflection on, and the kind of... Um, uh, cockpit, right? That's the word. Windshield. Mm, yeah, windshield. Um, so uh, the exclusive figure for this set uh, from the 20th anniversary sets is Han Solo, again using the old gun. I have to say thank you to Lego for including the old guns instead of um, not stud shooters or the old but newer guns, like the ones back in the middle, like we had in um, 2014, I'd say. Um, but yeah, they just include the very old ones. But the build itself is a drop ship, so there's like something you could pull to make that little section at the back behind the kind of driver's seat drop out. And, um, you know, the stormtroopers could obviously fit on there. The shadow trooper, the one in black, is supposed to kind of be the pilot, I'd assume. And the stormtroopers do use the newer helmet, so if anyone wants to get those, yeah, three in a 15 hour set, that is great. And it's so revolutionary. A battle pack with five minifigures for 15 bucks is great. Oh, wait, it's not $15. Okay, this is just pushing it, Lego. They made it $20. I'm getting a bit uh, tongue-twisted, but yeah, $20 in the U.S. I just, I don't see the value there at all. Like, battle packs in the first place were like 12 bucks. That was good value because you got your figures. And the builds, I'll have to say this. They're not canonical. They're not from canon at all. Like, look at this build. It's not in any of the movies. Maybe it's in the extended universe, like the books, but that, again, isn't movies. Lego just created this, this self, this themselves, as Valpax uh, usually are. And usually, it's not even that many pieces that make up the build. Like, the build itself seems like a $7 build. And then you pay 5 bucks for the figures, and that's why they should be $12. And that's why I hated when Lego made these $15. Like, maybe three bucks isn't a lot, but it's almost like 30% of the overall cost increased. So, yeah, that alone a lot of uh, fans hated, but $20, Lego? That's almost 100% increase. Yes, now battle packs are almost going to be double the price. And I feel like if this sells well, where I think it will sell well, 
Lego will realize that, hey, we can actually charge $20 for battle packs and people will buy. And what if the next sets, even with only four figures, are also $20? Uh, dollars. That's why uh, that's why I really hate this decision uh, by Lego. But yeah, still definitely the best set out of a lot. So yeah, all the sets that I like, uh, I feel are overpriced by $5 each. And then the other three, and then the snow speeder and the pod, I think are just bad. Le yeah, the snow speeder and the um, pod uh, are bad sets, though I'll probably get them anyway. And then the two smaller sets that I actually like, they are just way too... Um, not way too overpriced, but $5 overpriced, when overall that is like, what, 30% uh, of their cost. And then Slave 1, I think we could have used the Millennium Falcon instead. So yeah, just I'm not very enthusiastic about this way. But that is it for this video, and I hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.